I'm Pierce Alexander Lil Holt, and if I know one thing, it's string lights. That's right. I know all there is to know about string lights. Some consider me to be the world's foremost authority on string lights. Others consider me to be an expert on string lights. So what are string lights? Some might call them Christmas lights. Some might call them decorations. But string lights are essentially one long piece of, or many pieces, depending on how many colors you have, of wire that connects lights at a certain distance. So on one string, you might have hundreds of lights. Now, what are these really used for? Hmm. Ambience is definitely one of the major, that's, that's a major selling point for string lights. You might also use string lights for art. Personally, I've made a sign and spelled letters out using string lights and some coat hangers, the heavy duty wire that I attached the string lights to in order to give them shape and let them hold in there. And if you've ever seen any of the videos of the Bodhi Bart, you'd know about that sign. But string lights can also be rather large. So they have different sizes. And some of those, once you get very large, they might consider those to be like beer garden lights. And those type of lights are actually light bulbs you can change out and you could swap them. So if a light goes out, you could swap it. One of the problems with string lights is that because the same wire connects all of the lights together, if one light goes out, it can break the connection. And then after that light that went out, all the rest of the lights after that have also gone out. That's a problem. Not a big one, but it's a problem, especially if you're trying to light something up. There's also, in some of the string lights, in the, in the plug that you would plug into the outlet, there's a little door on that, and there are fuses that go in there. If those burn out, your string light isn't gonna work. So that's another consideration. So what are the best places to put string lights? Well, I would say the number one place to put string lights is on a boat. Absolutely, hands down. And for those of you who know me, I'm the captain of the floaty boat and wrapped around all the lifelines, I have string lights. And you're probably wondering, well, what kind of string lights do you have? Well, I think the original purpose of these was for gardens and they're solar powered string lights so they come with a little solar panel and there's actually a little stake that that can attach into the base of the solar panel and you would stick it in your garden you'd light up your garden well I just I don't put the stake on I zip tie that little solar panel to try to know, keep it at a good angle and then I wrap all of the lifelines and rails, basically anything going around the boat with the string lights. One of the things I do not do is I don't 
zip tie them. I did it before and after I trimmed the zip ties, they were uncomfortable. If you, if you grabbed onto them, they, they were scratchy. So I would recommend just wrapping them and if you need to take them off, just cut them off. So they're not going to last forever. They're those little garden lights are not meant for life aquatic, if you know what I mean. They're meant for a garden, and even out there, they'll probably not last until the end of time. So, most products have some sort of planned obsolescence nowadays, unfortunately. And those solar powered string lights are no exception. Now, how do they work? Well, when the sun goes down, the solar panel has a little light sensor in it. So the lights go on only after it's dark. And when it's bright out, the solar panel charges a battery. So solar panels. Uh, for the most part, all work off of charging a battery. And, you know, there might be some that, that don't have that battery in between there, but for instance, for instance, I have a very large solar panel that's uh, hanging off the back of my boat that charges two marine deep cycle batteries which I could use to power any number of things with a power inverter. I think it's the one I have is 4,000 watts. So I could charge, I could power solar panel LED lights till the end of time. But inside of the garden lights in that little plastic casing, it's small, there, there's usually at least a battery or two. And they probably won't last until the morning, but when the sun goes down, they'll flick on and they'll last for a few hours. Enough to give a little ambience on deck, enough to make your boat look more fun or whatever you're using these for, your, your garden, anything. And, and you don't need an outlet and you don't need to have extra wires going to places, which is nice the solar powered lights though I would recommend buying the cheapest possible solar powered lights I got mine on Amazon and I have some backups because they're probably already I mean, it's like been a year ish since I replaced them they're probably already dying and this is a particularly rough winter and they're out there in the wind, in the rain, in the snow, in the ice. So they're getting battered. And I'd say anywhere that you want to be fun, string lights are great for that. Now, bars that's a big one. Christmas trees, that's another big one. Outside on your house. It doesn't need to be a holiday to put up string lights. You can put them up anytime you want. And nobody's ever going to complain about string lights. They're not in your face. Now, LED, I would recommend LED string lights, especially if you're using them to plug them in, because if you use normal incandescent lights when they die when a string light dies it's not like changing a light bulb you might have to cut it out of wherever it was so you want something that's going to last long like a light emitting diode they also don't get hot light emitting diodes or not nearly as hot as a normal string light that has a light that it gets hot. <laughs> so if I was going to sum this up in a 
couple sentences. Get LED lights, and if you don't feel like plugging them in, get the little solar panel LED lights. And one extra sentence. They're not going to last forever. But enjoy them while you got them. And yeah, put them everywhere. They're an excellent form of lighting that nobody's going to complain about string lights. And if they do, then it's a test. Then you know that's a person who complains about string lights. And then you don't like that person anymore because you got to, you know... I'm not saying you got to be prejudiced against people who don't like string lights, but you got to wonder, why don't you like string lights? What's wrong with you? They're fantastic. They are game changers in terms of ambiance. They're the difference between ambience and ambiance. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, string lights are quite possibly the best lights ever designed. Oh, yeah! 